Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. I'm Dr. Hina Khan and today the topic of our lecture is the cerebral toxicity, which can result uh, whenever there is an intake of cerebral poisons and whenever I use the word cerebral poisons, basically I'm referring to the poisons which can cross the blood-brain barrier, enter the central nervous system and have an integrated effect uh, on our central nervous system. So the outline to this lecture would include the uh, most notorious of the poisons, the groups would include the opioids, the uh, somniferous poisons, then we have the sedatives and the hypnotics which are included and discussed completely over here, uh, mentioning their uh, side effects and mentioning their clinical features and along with that, the most importantly, we'd be discussing the post-mortem appearances uh, included in this kind of category. Now the drugs acting on the CNS, they basically include ethyl alcohol, we have general anesthetics, the opioid analgesics, sedatives, hypnotics, uh, fuels and insecticides which can eventually have the deleterious effects on the uh, central nervous system. So we'd be discussing the most important group known as sedatives and hypnotics. Uh, producing a calming effect and um, induction of sleep is the major mechanism of action over here included in this sedatives and hypnotics group. Most notorious of these uh, group is the chloral hydrate uh, which is being used in cases of robbery and rape and how is it used and what is the uh, what are the clinical features and what is the mechanism of action that would be discussed in detail over here. Mentioning its fatal dose and fatal period because the treatment and the management would really depend upon uh, this knowledge that you have over here. Then we have the post-mortem appearances related uh, to this chloral hydrate that we'll be discussing over here. And moving on, we have the uh, medical legal aspects that are associated with it. It can, it is basically a suicidal drug. It's used as a dry wine and even um, a highly addictive drug as well. Then we'd be dealing with the somniferous poisons over here, including the opioids uh, specifically and mentioning the cause of death, which is related uh, to the opioid poison specifically including the cyanosis, irregular breathing, imperceptible pulse which is included and uh, are the most important and specific clinical features included over here. We'd be discussing the uh, fatal doses and comparing them accordingly even within this group uh, we have morphine and opium so how does they differ and what are these specific fatal doses for the children uh, that are going to be discussed over here. Then we have the post-mortem appearances related to opium and morphine. Uh, the medical legal aspects as we all know are divided into the suicidal, accidental and the homicidal rates over here and we'd be discussing that in detail over here and then specifically the heroin which is known as brown sugar would be discussed over here in detail as well. So uh, you can watch this lecture as well as the variety of other lectures available on our website by uh, subscribing to it. Uh, that is the end. Thank you for watching Skyo.com.